Hey YouTube, Paul Phillips here with Hot Tech Photography and Gear Reviews. I thought I'd chime in uh, with a review on wide-angle lenses. And if you've seen some of my reviews before, I've got a real antique lens that I've been using. I call it antique, but not really. It's a Sigma 15-30mm wide-angle lens, and it's designed for full-frame camera. Um, I've had this thing since, uh, geez, probably 2005 or 2007. Uh, that's when I picked it up. You can buy them used now, uh, probably about $300. Uh, I can't even remember how much I paid for it brand new. But um, any of the wide-angle shots I've taken from, say, 2005 when I started photography, or at least started getting serious about photography, I've used this wide-angle lens. I have absolutely no complaints. It's a terrific uh, wide-angle lens. Um, the only thing that you want to be aware of if you're going to buy one, it has this kind of unique uh, Sigma front end on it where the lens cap is built into the lens so if you're going to put a filter on the lens you have to put this cap on it like so and then there's threads on the cap and um, you can get different fringing and you know vignetting effects with this on so you just have to watch it but 90, 99 percent uh, of the time I'm just taking my wide angle shots like so and it's been a, a terrific lens for me um, if you're interested in 15 to 30, go out and buy this one, or you're thinking of going from DX to FX, um, this would be a good choice, and you'll probably get a, uh, a good price or a cheap price on these lenses now if you can find a good copy. So there you go. Now, recently, I got my hands on one of the newer. This is the Sigma 1020. It's a 1.4 to 5.6, and you'll see um, I've, I've included some comparison shots for you because I was really curious to see the difference between the 15 and the 10 if it was going to be really substantial um, and I have to say that it is it makes a huge difference I was really surprised um, this lens I've been playing with for probably about a month now and definitely uh, it's, it's a huge change from the 15 mil so now Sigma also does another 8 millimeter lens which is more the front end of it is like this one I think it's 8 to 16 that they have so if you're dying to go extreme wide angle that would be the one to go go to at least on a DX uh, camera for me um, I've been quite happy with this 10 to 20 I'm going to play around a bit more with it and I've, I've included some comparison shots in the video. You can see the, the, the difference between the 15 millimeter and the 10 millimeter. So that'll give you some kind of perspective on what you're getting. It really, uh, it's, it's surprising how much wider it is, just five millimeters. But um, yeah, and, and I think we paid, this is an EX by Sigma, paid about uh, 550 bucks for it. Um, it's got a nice, uh, lens hood on it snaps into place um, you know the action on the lens is the front of the lens moves in and out when you're zooming but you know we're talking about here a quarter of an inch maybe or 10 millimeters so it's not really anything that you have to worry about um, so my advice I mean if I was buying a lens now 2015 and I was going to choose between the 15 to 30 and the 10 to 20 um, it would really depend on, you know, whether you're going full frame or you're going to stick with DX. Because the 10 to 20 that I have here, this is for DX only. Whereas the 15 to 30 um, was originally made for a full frame camera and works just fine on DX. But um, if you got a DX camera and you plan to stick with DX for a long time, you know, go for the 10 to 20. Because that's what this lens was designed for. Um, I think originally they designed 12 to 24 for full frame and then they went to 10 to 20 for uh, the DX uh, lenses. And, you know, I'm not trying to give you every possible spec on this. All I'm saying is of the two lenses, I've had great success with both of them. If you're after a wide angle lens and you want to save a bit of money, you know, if you can find a 15 to 30 millimeter Sigma, um, go out and buy it with confidence. You'll have great uh, success with it and the same with the 10 to 20 Sigma I mean these are both uh, great lenses I can't complain about either one of them so that's it just a quick review wanted to chime in on these two lenses and uh, I hope that helps you if you have any questions you know drop me a line don't forget to subscribe and like us and uh, we'll see you soon okay bye for now